gives me great pleasure to address the free citizens of the United States of America in the name of the Hungarian nation through this epoch-making American invention, the talking film. At this occasion, I cannot but recall those relations going back for almost a century, which one of the greatest sons of our country, Kossuth, has created between our two nations and who had the privilege of addressing Congress in interpreting the sacred cause of Hungarian liberty. In the past, as well as in present days, the Hungarian people is penetrated by friendly feelings towards America. We admire its great prosperity as well as the high standard of its economic, technical, and cultural development. We are dazzled by the gigantic inventions and by the splendid spiritual efforts which, like as many milestones, mark the stages of the progress of civilization and set the example to be followed by mankind. Hungary, though much smaller in size, is endeavoring to the limited extent of its modest means to follow this magnificent example and to take its share in the constructive work. The beauties lavished by nature upon our small country our national assets and the historical part Hungary played in this section of, section of Europe on the border orient draw every year thousands of foreigners to the land of the Magyars, the capital of which Budapest in its splendid setting may well be called the Queen of the Danube. The Hungarian nation will be happy if as many as possible of you will come and see and satisfy themselves as to what Hungary is like and to give us an opportunity to receive you in genuine, sincere hospitality. <laughs>